I'd like to talk about the polygon tool in this video. So uh, we just finished up with the rectangle tool and directly under that you'll see that we have the polygon tool and this will create an equilateral closed polyline. Okay, so if I click on the polygon tool, the command line will be asking me for the number of sides. So if I did four, I could have a square, a rectangle, I can do five, six, and so on. So perhaps I will say, maybe just to change it up, I'll say six, enter. So I'll be creating a polygon with six sides. Now it's going to ask me to specify the center point, okay? So it's going to be similar to how we're going to create a circle. So I specify the center, I'll just click on my drawing area. And then it's going to ask me if I want to be inscribed in a circle or circumscribed about a circle. What does that mean? Well, these tooltips give you a very good visual. So if I just hover over this polygon for a minute, it will be showing me what that means. So on the left, we have a polygon that is inscribed inside of a circle. And you'll see that the, the point is at the top. And then the right one is circumscribed about a circle and it's flat on the top. Okay, so there's two different ways to do this. So maybe for this particular one, I'll say circumscribed about a circle. So that's the C, so I'll just hit enter. And then it's going to be kind of rubber banding around that center point on my mouse. Okay, so I could either just click and just have an arbitrary size, or I could say I want it to be a certain size. How do I do that? Well, it's going to ask me to specify the radius of the circle that it's either inside or outside of, in this case, outside. So I'll say three feet, enter. And there is my six-sided polygon that has a three-foot radius circle inside of it. Now to illustrate what that looks like, I'll actually create a circle and do that again. So the circle command, the circle tool, is the third one in, okay? And there's a variety of options for creating circles. So we can do it from the center point and then specify the radius, which is halfway across, or the diameter, which is the entire way. Or we can do things like a two-point, a three-point tangent, and so on. So right now I'm going to keep it really simple and just do this first one. So I'll do center and then radius. I'm just going to click over here to specify the center point of the circle. And I'll pull my mouse out. And then I will just do a three-foot radius. Enter. So now if I do a polygon, we'll see how that fits. So I'll do polygon again. And this time, I don't really want to change the number, so I can just hit enter. And we can specify the center point. Using my object snaps, I can come in, click on the center point of that circle, pull my mouse, and say that I would like this one to be circumscribed. So I'll do C, enter. And what's the radius of my circle? Well, I could just click here using my object snap, and it would actually click to that quadrant point of the circle, and that would be three feet. Or I can type in three feet, enter, and now I have my six-sided polygon circumscribed around my circle, each having a three-foot radius. So if I do that one more time, I'll do my three-foot circle, I'll do my polygon, with six sides. I'll pick its center point in this circle, but this time I'll do inscribed my three foot circle, just so we can see the difference. So here's the inscribed polygon, and here's the circumscribed polygon.